Hello friends, welcome to BICTraining.com. My name is Amit and for last past three weeks we have been discussing about different techniques of SBS optimization. Today we are going to talk about technique number 12. How poor data loading impact your SBS fragmentation. So I know many of you have learned, heard SBS fragmentation a lot. But today we are going to talk about fragmentation. The impact of SBS fragmentation as a result of poor data loading. I'll talk, I'll support my uh, definition with statistics. So it will help you easy to understand. Okay, Fragmentation, it's a fundamental concept of operating system. What happened as per definition? Fragmentation is created when SP writes a data block to a location on a disk and leave unused the space in the former location of the data block. Right? Let's try to visualize this. So, you know, Assume this is my queue, right? And I've got store type, sales manager, province, and time dimension. And your major is called sales. In this example, store type and sales manager are my sparse dimension. And therefore, the combination of store type and sales manager forming a block, right? So I've got two store type and two sales manager. The combination of this is four. Therefore, there are four blocks, right? Now let's see what happened. Imagine what does fragmentation look like? Let's visualize this. Assume this is my queue with 50 blocks. Right? One cell I assume as a one block. Okay. And the yellow cell assume it's an occupied block. And the white one is called free block. Right? Now I'm going to leave specify empty blocks. This is the fragmentation. I mean, we have got adequate space in our cube, but they are not continuous, they are in disparate, and therefore, as this cannot write the data. Assume at this place, I got the data, we have data New York sales, right? We have written some expression which causing New York sales to be increased. We have written some expression, a simple expression, for example, my fix, apply on fix on one of my dimension on product and I'm going to write an expression and fix and change the New York sales. New York sales equals to, you know, uh, let's say sale tax. Sale tax is based upon my sales. So sale tax of New York is based upon New York sales. I'm trying to make it very simple. New York sales into 5%, right? So the data block which occupied by New York sales after New York sales tax after calculation it needs more space which it cannot be accommodated over here and therefore as base leave this space empty and occupied another space. So I leave this space and occupy another space. So over the result of as a result of you know multiple over the period of time, I've got multiple unused space. And that causes a fragmentation. That's one reason of fragmentation. However, today focus we are focusing on fragmentation because of poor data loading. So it's a, a way I visualize this in order to support the definition. Right? Fragmentation also occur. Primary reason of fragmentation is poor data loading. Primary reason. And today I'm going to show you live. First, you need to know how to calculate fragmentation. We understand you got a fragmentation, but how do you know that? There's a fragmentation and what is major of fragmentation? So there's a parameter called average cluster ratio. The average cluster ratio you can see in the statistics of SBS view. Under statistics, this is as average cluster ratio. It's 0 0.86. The higher the value, the more defragmented it is, the good it is, you know. So uh, as per the definition of average cluster ratio, average cluster ratio describe the order of block actually exist. So assume this is my block, my cube, and I've got four blocks, and all floor bars are occupied. Right? The cross market says they're occupied. So if all blocks are occupied, my average cluster ratio is one means all blocks are ordered 
in a correct sequence and they are occupied they are all ordered and occupied in a correct sequence right but as data load happen as you perform calculation data load you know you need a more space so as we leave this space and add this block towards the end of the file and therefore this space got released this space got released this space is empty and we added this data in a new block so over the period of time you got so many empty chunks small records uh, blocks you know and that increases my decreases my average cluster ratio so as you load data and calculate a block the sequence can start to be out of order and this is because the write you write to a block it may not be able to place back in the same place and therefore it add towards the end of the file right that's what average cluster ratio is now let's see an example how to see this i mean how to calculate this in this example i'm going to simulate clustering problem because of poor data load right and how to overcome this so in this case first i do i clear all the data right i clear all data and therefore i have got zero blocks number of existing blocks is zero and average cluster ratio is one right because there is no data at all i have got two data file and this is what we are going to do as per oracle documentation right uh, when you load data load data to minimize the fragmentation you order sparse dimension member first followed by dense dimension we can visualize this as well right imagine this is your cube this is my cube and and i'm loading the data into this order 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are my cell i'm loading data to this cell 8 right so in order to load this data first i need to load block number 1 into memory then i jump to then i need to load block number 2 into memory in order to load this data cell then i jump to block number 1 back into memory so i'm switching between the block the more hopping between the block you are doing the poor data load is and the it causes the high level of fragmentation right let's see this live so i've got two data file over here uh data load without sparse dimension right and i'm using sample basic cube you know in this example to support my explanation in this cube there are five dimension 1 2 3 4 5 we don't we don't consider attribute dimension because they don't occupy space so out of this five dimension uh year major are dense product market and scenario are sparse right product market and scenario are sparse this is my data load file free form data loading and if you look at i did not order them the sparse dimension so i have a dense dimension and then three sparse dimensions are consecutive three sparse dimension so this is poor data load if your data file is prepared in the way that it doesn't order sparse dimension it causes a fragmentation issue let's see this live now i don't have data in my cube as of now so you see my data block is zero right data block is zero i'm going to load this data call data load without sparse dimension ordering right click load data is a free form loading so i don't need a rule file i specify a file name data load without sparse ordering this is not correctly you know spell it so leave it uh data load without sparse dimension ordering okay i select this i load it load is done successful number of cell gets loaded 72 and time taken 0.09 second right the focus area is cluster you see it's 0.86 it's good but not so good average cluster ratio it should be close to 1 right so i got some fragmentation now why because of my poor data modeling poor data load process i am going to redo it again make a note of this right now i got 24 blocks i'll take a snapshot of this and i'll be focusing on this area when i load data without ordering sparse dimension what happen this is what number of blocks are 24 right and my average cluster ratio is 0.86 
this is I'm adding a header over here when data loaded without ordering sparse dimension right let's do it once again but this time I use a different data source file I'm going to clear the data once again right click clear all data right and refresh it I'm going to load data once again but this time data file is different this time a data file where I order my sparse dimension in a meaningful way so you see over here I got multiple data files the data file called sparse dimension ordering if you look at the data file carefully the order in which I have given it all sparse dimensions are appearing first right so look at your outline this is my outline and you see that product market and scenario these are sparse dimension right and I organize them in a way that sparse dimension appear first followed by dense dimension isn't it just by changing the order you see the fragmentation will go away okay let's see this so I already deleted the data therefore I don't have data in my queue a block size is 0 number of blocks are 0 and average cluster ratio is 1.0 refresh it is 0 right click and load data fresh data once again and this time I'm going to use data source file with sparse dimension ordering select okay perfect successfully loaded time taken 0 0.06 second number of cell modified 72 and refresh average cluster ratio is 1.0 it means no no fragmentation at all do you see so by if you design your data source file poorly it causes a fragmentation and that's a real life stats I've taken very small data so that's the result of it had you been taking a real production data there would be a big impact on your queue performance and that's a difference you can compare the numbers now number of blocks are remain same block size also remain same blood but because of poor data modeling the cluster has the fragmentation over here without ordering and there's no fragmentation that's the concept now typically as per Oracle documentation you can get rid of fragmentation by using two method two simple method right first first method uh, you export all data right clear all data and export all data is a kind of backup you are doing take a backup clear all data and import back but in this example this may not work because the data is poor the data is poor so before you import it back you need to you need to change the order of change the data source file in a way that uh, the sparse dimension member should come first another way by doing restructure right so you can do it see it live I'm going to restructure it and you see the fragmentation will go away depends upon the nature of data and the kind of business you are working with whichever approach fit into your business model sometime export all data takes a lot of time and therefore it is not realistic your business doesn't want downtime so this may or may not fit into your business environment that you need to look into that let's see the restructure approach so I'm going to add a fragmentation once again I clear all data right zero data block I'm going to load data once again right click load data special data file which causing uh, fragmentation so without sparse dimension data loading without sparse dimension ordering select this ok data got loaded time taken 0 0.07 second seven to cell got modified and refresh you got a cluster 0.86 percent right right click I restructure this I got very little data restructure happen in few seconds even fraction of second refresh see the block remains same but my cluster ratio is one it means there's no fragmentation right so that's it for today see more as space performance tuning related videos uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel there are close to 40 performance tuning related statistics we have gathered and in coming weeks we are going to teach you what 
techniques you should use to ensure that your queue performance remain high. So thanks for watching today's video.